day, everyone. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Today, we have the Sonic Cake Metro Box 2. Now, Sonic Cake have sent this to us, and we really appreciate it. So, uh, thank you, Sonic Cake. We're going to play around with it. Now, this box has an amazing list of features. Now, I'm going to do an entire different video on this, but uh, the way I like to get to know a new bit of gear when I get it is I like to start by building a new preset, um, just like an edge of breaky sort of edge of edge of breakup sort of thing that I can maybe take to gigs and uh, that sort of stuff so that's what I'm going to do for you today let's get started this is the software which you can download I've just got a uh, blank preset up now when you bring up a blank preset the only thing that's on is the volume pedal now I turn that off lots of guys don't get that but I don't use the volume pedal at all I have all my presets set up with uh, preset volumes uh, for that sort of stuff. So anyway, I turn that off because sometimes when it's down, you uh, think something's broken a lead or something and you can't, you forget that your volume pedal's turned down. Anyway, so I just turn that off because I don't use it. So this is my strat just straight into the computer. Now I'm using stereo USB. So the USB cable is coming straight from the Sonic Cake into my door. Um, and it's in stereo, which is awesome. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an amp. So I'm going to turn the amp lock on. Tweed Deluxe, there are heaps and heaps of different, uh, heaps and heaps of different amps in here, including guitar, acoustic guitar preamps and bass preamps as well, which is awesome. Had a little play around with them, and I think at the moment, the Cali Star Clean sounds the best to me so far. Now I'm going to pick a cab, and I'm just sort of going to pick one at random in the interest of, um, you know, there's a high watt 4x12 there. We'll grab that one. So, now I've got an amp and cab selected. I can just sort of muck around with this a little bit. I normally take my presence all the way down. Just starting to break up now, as you can hear. So I'm going to bring the volume back a little bit. I'm just going to bring the mids up a little bit and turn the treble down a little bit now with any modeler the helix the fractal um any heel any modeler that i get my hands on i always roll the presence off and i always roll the treble back a little bit because when you put an overdrive in front of them that or a fuzz they do sound really fizzy in the top ends <laughs> so that's just starting to sound like it's breaking up a little bit now when i play loud volume down a little bit more right and then the way I normally roll is I normally go find a reverb like a hall reverb something like that oh there's a church turn the pre-delay all the way down think so there's my basic sort of edge of breakup with a cab and some reverb that's where I start when I'm building a, a preset on any modeling device 
From there, what I'd normally do is then go find a drive panel. So let's have a look. We've got a tube screamer. We've got some boss style things. Blues driver full tone. Blues breaker. And then we've got some fuzzers. The dark mouse. No guessing what that is. Plexi distortion. Uh, distortion plus. That'll be the MXR. Then we're into some bass stuff. Or then we're into some comps. Some wahs. All right, let's have a look here. How about... Instead of picking just like a tube screamer or something like that, how about I pick this full OD, which I'm assuming will be the full tone. Still a fair bit of a volume job, isn't it? I'm going to bring the volume down a little bit more. Pretty cool. I'm just going to bring the volume still down a little bit more. Just bring my gain and my treble down a little bit. Good. Now this has noises pickups in it, but I'm going to turn the uh, noise reduction on anyway. That is super awesome. Okay, now for some mod, I am going to choose a uh, vibrato. There's a big volume drop in there. I think it's because I'm running in stereo. So that's going to be my modulation. Then I'm going to turn on my delays, pick my delay. There is lots of cool delays in here. Oh, lo-fi. Multi-tape. King pong. That's awesome. I'm going to be a little bit boring. And just pick this uh, BB, the Bucket Brigade device delay. Sounds pretty good. So they're all there if I need them. Then, what have we got under here? Oh, touch wire. Turn the touch wire on, try and get a quacky sound out of it. Sounds 
So now I'm probably not going to use that, but just in the interest of making a uh, preset for you. As a stock standard sound, that's great. All right, now for the E. Um, the EQ, I'm just going to take the 125 down a little bit. I'm just going to take the 4K down a little bit. That's... That's pretty cool. Back to the cabinet. Now, you can actually adjust the low cuts and stuff here as well. I tend to leave everything around that 40 hertz. If you're playing with a really big PA system live that has big subwoofers, you'll notice a massive difference. And I tend to bring the high cut back to sort of around that, I don't know, five and a half. <laughs> So there's a preset that's going to get me out of heaps of trouble. I can have a clean sound. I can have a dirty sound. I've got my noise reduction on there. I've got some delay reverb and some modulation as well. I've got a wah up the front if I want to add a different color to a solo or a funky bit or something like that. Um, so this is generally how I would build a preset straight out of the box just to have a good play around with it. Now, what I would normally do is go through all the different amps and have a, a muck around with them. I would definitely go through all the IRs and have a muck around with them or even load in some of my own and just compare them. I would definitely 100% muck around uh, with the noise reduction and make sure you've got that right. Now, here's a couple of little tips I'm gonna show you just in case. If I wanted to use my EQ as a boost, say, I can just pick it up and drag it in front of everything. I can crank the volume on it right up and use it as a boost. Just to push that a little bit more so you can just literally just pick it up with the mouse and just drag it around to wherever you want which is uh pretty cool i reckon that's a really nice touch now you can do that with all the blocks now the other thing is on the back of it you can have a um on the back of the unit itself there is actually an in and out uh mono effects loop so you see that send and return there i wiggle my mouse around them you can actually, um, you know, you can select the level on the input and the output and the mix, of course, um, just like any effects loop. And you can chuck your favorite reverb pedal in there or your drive pedal. You can move these around as well. So you can, if it's a reverb pedal, you can stick it at the end. If you're putting in your favorite fuzz pedal, you can put it in the, in the front. But being able to split it as well is absolutely massive for being able to use it as an effects loop, which is awesome. So... Anyway, there you go. That's how I would build a preset in the Sonic Cake Matrix Box. Now, I'm going to do a full video on this, and I'm going to do a heap of videos on all the different amps and reverbs and drives and delays and sounds and that sort of stuff as well. So anyway, if you're looking at one of these, I hope this helped you out. You can do all this on the actual unit itself, and it does have a really lovely looking screen on it, but I assure you it's heaps easier to do with the software. So um, it's got USB-C on it too, which is really nice. So anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for tuning in. If you're uh, looking at getting the Sony Kick Metro Box 2, there is a link down in the description to uh, get a little discount if you use our discount code, and we'll get a little kickback from that too. So if you're looking at buying one, use our link. We appreciate it a lot. Otherwise, thumbs up, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. We um, really appreciate anything you do for us. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.